Hello and welcome to your short on time, full body yin yoga practice. My name is Caitlin and I will facilitate today's class. If you're new to yin, just a really quick introduction. There are three principles that will support you throughout this practice. First and foremost, you want to find the appropriate depth in the given posture. Then you want to commit to stillness. You want to let go of your fidgets, your adjustments entirely and settle into stillness. If you are short on time today, which is why I imagine you clicked on this video, we do have a shorter window of a hold. So really do the best that you can with that stillness so that you get the utmost benefit throughout the practice. Third and finally, you hold for the duration given. So I want you to keep that in your mind and in your heart as you settle into every posture today. If you're ready to begin, we'll meet in a child pose. Bring your big toes together, take your knees comfortably wide, and sink your hips back towards your heels. Begin to melt your heart and your head down towards a block, a folded blanket, or all the way down to the mat. Arms long in front of you, shoulders pulled down. Make sure that your forehead makes contact with something. Upon that contact, begin to breathe deep and free. And hopefully at this point, you have found that appropriate depth in your body today. Close your eyes, arrive in a way that feels right for you. And that way you can cultivate a breath that is both smooth and complete for the next 60 seconds you have in child pose. And with the intention to cleanse and clear anything that may have shifted, remain in child pose, take a big breath into your belly, and open mouth exhale to release. Take your time, you rise up through table, come to hands and knees, lower all the way down to your belly for a sphinx pose. Elongate through your legs, press down through the tops of your feet, all 10 toenails root down firm. Tuck your pelvis under, tailbone towards your heels, and then prop yourself up on elbows. Your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. For less intensity, let your chin fall into the chest, Jalandhara Bandha. If you'd prefer the lift upward through the base of your skull, set your gaze slightly forward and downward in front of the small edge of your yoga mat. Set your gaze on something that isn't moving or choose to close your eyes entirely as you settle into Sphinx Pose for the next 60 seconds. And while there is sensation, certainly, you might run into some tightness or soreness, even lightness or freedom, you want the breath to be non-reactive, unchanging. Your breath is constantly smooth and steady, mirroring the calm, focused nature of your mind. 40 seconds left in Sphinx pose. Body is still, breath in a deliberate flow. Within a little more energy alive in your heart, your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. Remain in your expression of Sphinx Pose. Draw a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale to release and soften. Splay your elbows to the right and to the left. Slide your hands back and rise up through table. Once you come to hands and knees, come to your seat and extend your legs out long in front of you, Caterpillar Pose. Sway your hips, root down into your sitting bones. You do not have to point or flex to soften your ankles. Round your spine forward, chin towards your chest, forehead towards your knees or shins. Soft through your fingers, entire back line of your body, 
gets exposed, stretched, and opened. The next 60 seconds for caterpillar pose, breathing deep into your hip creases, breathing full into the low back and back ribs. Set your gaze or close your eyes. And that way you can maximize this minute with deep and free breath. Acknowledge the connection where your abdominals touch your thighs. To that point of contact, take a big breath in, belly inflate like a balloon. Once you're full in the chest and the throat, open mouth, exhale, let your head become even heavier. At the bottom of your exhale, engage your abdominals, press hands into the floor, lift your torso. Keep the engagement at your abdominals, plant your hands behind your hips, bend your knees, and windshield wiper your feet to the right and to the left. So mild twist for a count of three. Belly is still breathing even through transition for two and for one. Lie all the way down onto your back. Scoot hips forward if needed. And you take a full body stretch. Elongate your arms overhead for banana pose. You walk your hands and your heels over to the right side of your space. The C curve series through your spine. Right hand, grab your left wrist. Send your gaze over to the left. That can be mild or a big change. And then left ankle cross over your right if that serves you today. Feel a heaviness in your left shoulder and left butt cheek as you take the next 60 seconds to breathe wide into your left side body. In through the nose, down to the belly. Out through the nose, soften the belly. Stay committed and connected to that channel of fluid breath. Halfway through. From your fingers all the way down to your feet, take a big inhalation and a complete exhalation. At the bottom of your exhale, walk your hands and heels back to center, happy baby pose. Your knees hug up and then flare wide. Stack your heels above your kneecaps, hands to hamstrings, ankles, or bottoms of feet. Keep your tailbone heavy and your chest broad. 60 seconds, one minute dedicated to happy baby pose to open your hips and to neutralize your spine. To maximize all of those benefits, please be sure to breathe. So often the chest will take on the breath. The shoulders will rise and fall with breath. But in our yoga practice, we get to strengthen a different skill. Breath in the belly and breath in the ribs. The beauty in that choice, it communicates to the central nervous system that it's safe for you to do this. Whatever you feel right now through inner thighs, groins, hip creases, take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go and take your full body stretch. Banana pose over to the left, journey hands and heels inch by inch. Left hand, grab your right wrist. Turn your neck and gaze to the right, and your right ankle crosses over your left. Feel a heaviness in the back of your right shoulder, right butt cheek, as you begin to funnel the breath wide into waist and your rib tissue. At this point, about 40 seconds left on second side.
And now from your feet all the way back up to your fingers, you cultivate awareness. Take a big breath in. As you begin to exhale, release and return to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Keep your right knee nice and high and let your left leg go long. Take a breath in. Exhale, spinal twist. Next series is called cat pulling its tail. Guide your bent right knee all the way up and over to the left. Once your right leg stops moving, option to straighten your right leg for a little more IT band and outer hip. Option again to bend into your left knee, reach your right hand down, grab a hold of your left foot, cat pulling its tail. Twist your neck, gaze to the right, 60 seconds in your supine twist. Relax your glutes and your abdominals. Just as deep as you breathe in, please be sure to complete the breath out. Soft neck, soft shoulders. Commit to stillness as you breathe steadily. Your breath will support your exit. Stay in cat pulling its tail for a big breath in. Exhale to release your bind. Unwind and return to the middle. Level your hips and low back to switch sides. Elongate through your right leg. Hug your left knee into your chest. Stay in the middle for a big breath in. Exhale, spinal twist. Bent left knee over to the right. Stack your hips. Option to straighten your left leg, right hand, outer left thigh, knee, calf, or even your foot. Option to bend your right knee, reach your left hand down, grab a hold of your right foot. Twist your neck, gaze to the left, and then settle into stillness. Decide that you have done enough refining and changing and shifting. Settle into the pose and maximize the next 50 seconds with deep, belly breathings. Stay in your expression of the pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale to release any binds. Unwind and return to center. Left knee a solo squeeze and then hug your right knee up to meet it. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Come back to your seat. Sukhasana. Cross at your ankles and let your outer knees drop down. Just as you've created all of that space in the physical body, now it's time to create some peace and quiet in the mind with 60 seconds of meditation. Let the backs of your hands rest on your knees. Index fingers and thumbs make contact, Yanana Mudra. Chin parallel to the ground, please close your eyes and hone in on the quality of your breath. As you've gotten to know the breath, get familiar with any sensations in the physical body. And to nourish this union between breath, body, and mind, join your hands at your heart. Take a mild bow of chin to chest. May our energies and our efforts be of benefit to all beings. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings.
find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your healing, your practice is continuous, your heart steady and of benefit to all beings. To both seal and share with your life-giving breath, take a deep inhalation, open mouth, clear it out. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close the yin practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin. With any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comment section below. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.